Hey there, Japanese Retro Game Center with another YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been about a month since my last video. I'm just trying to finish off my Super Famicom collection. Um, I've been going through all the videos. I'm not going through the, oh, I have all the the Street Fighters, the Chrono Triggers, and, um, you know, Secret Amanas, my Rockman collection, and all that stuff. Like, I'm not going through that. I'm going through the more obscure games, the lesser played games, um is I'm trying to actually have a complete Super Famicom collection. And it doesn't have to, doesn't have to all be boxed, but it has to be complete. But I thought I would go through my boxed collection because uh, Super Famicom box art is better, right? Hashtag that, right? Um, so I wanted to go through that. So um, it's been a month since my last video. Um, been very busy. So uh, eBay store's been very good. That's why. That's mainly why I've been busy. So it's been my best month in a couple years. So, not as much as working on the collection, more on uh, just churning games out, getting them to those customers worldwide. Uh, let's see, numbers. So, Famicom was like 616 games in my collection. Famicom Disk System was like 126. And Super Famicom was like 820, I believe, if I remember correctly. And all those numbers are right around like 56, 57% complete, uh, according to the numbers I have, just basic Wikipedia list and go from there. And maybe you find a game that wasn't on there or whatever, or games were duplicated or misspelled. There's, there's a whole kinds of, you know, it's not, ac it's not 100% accurate. There's no way to be 100% accurate, I think. But, um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm about 56, 57% in my collection. Uh, I have a lot of box games that I have to reorganize and reshuffle. I might just make a video at the end or something if if I still haven't reorganized my collection and go, okay, here's all the games that, since I started making this um, series of videos, you know, how many ever months ago, a year ago, whatever it was, um, that I've collected over time. So I have those as well. So for now, we're still in S's. Like, there's been like five videos just about S's. So we're in Super, and I have P right here, so let's get into it. So, Super Professional Baseball 3, okay? So, lots of baseball games on the Super Famicom. Baseball was popular in Japan, still is. Still very popular, and may, maybe more popular, dare I say, than in the United States. So, there is the box very quickly. Manual is the exact same. So here's, this is a Jalico game, right? <gasps> My card has been tanned. Oh no. So I should try to upgrade. I also do upgrade my games, of course, if I get them. If I find a better, you know, find a better cart. Okay, well, I'll add that in there instead of that. All right. Super professional baseball. Let's see. Next. Ooh, okay. Here's a great game. So Super Puyo Puyo. Puyo Puyo, um, which everybody knows now with the Tetris Puyo and lots of Puyo games have come out. But originally it wasn't so well known. Um, the only game that came out was what, that Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, if I remember correctly. Um, but they had so many Puyo Puyo games across all the systems. So since this is on Super Famicom, it's called Super Puyo Puyo. All right. So here's the box for that. Um, so it's a really good puzzle game. Ooh, check this out. Here's a... Uh, Band Presto, they came out, they're basically Bandai, right? So, uh, they came out, so here's a poster, so check that out. So I have mine complete with a Puyo Puyo poster. Super Puyo Puyo poster, actually. And then on the back it has advertisements. So I have Gundam and Astro Boy, uh, Game Boy, and, uh, Super Famicom, yeah, advertisements. So, Chirashi, so advertisement, right? Really cool stuff. And here's the cart right there. And comes with your, as always, I won't go into it too much, but your AC adapter warning. Green and pink, there's the green one, and your standard registration card. So, cool, cool. All right. And let's get that back in the box where it belongs. Okay, so here we have Super Puyo Puyo 2. And they, uh, Puyo Puyo likes to do a play on words, um, like, uh, Oyaji Gag, American Joke, so they like to make, a um, little, like, double meaning words. So the kanji right here is tsu, and the way you would say, uh, tu in Japanese is also, like, tsu, so they put that on there. 
as two. So super, and of course super, super Famicom, super Puyo Puyo 2. Alright, so here's the manual. Right there. Here's the cart. The cart is in great shape. Oh, so yeah, I'm really bad at puzzle games. The, uh... They also had the registration card in it. And this is one of the better registration cards. It has the logo and color and everything on there. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else is in here? Some kind of coupon or something. So, what is that? Oh, so if you wanted to pay for the... Uh, what was it? For this magazine or whatever it was. So they had some stuff that you could like buy. I have a receipt in here. Is this the actual receipt? Looks like it. Cost about like 70 bucks, right? So, there you go. This one even has the Japanese receipt. Oh, speaking of which, pink. So, there is today's pink AC adapter uh, warning thing. Right, had that, had like the offer. This is how you pay. You go to the post office, you go to a convenience store. Well, maybe not post office. You go to a convenience store or whatever, and you could actually go and pay. And they put a little stamp on it and send it. Um, it's a really cool system. No checks, right? You don't, we don't have checks in Japan, so you actually just go to the convenience store and pay or whatever. All right, Super Puyo Puyo 2. Then I have Super Puyo Puyo 2 Remix. I pretty much have them all. Also, like I was trying to say before, I'm really bad. I'm really bad at uh, Puyo Puyo. Really bad at puzzle games. My wife is awesome. My hot, hashtag hot Asian wife, right? She kicks ass at uh, Puyo Puyo. Always kicks my ass. So, <clears throat> so I try to avoid it, right? Avoid it like the plague. So this is super, same thing, two with the two and two, kanji two, all that stuff. And this is the remix cart. Uh, this one has plastic wrap. I have plastic wrap with it. I'm not too particular if it has it, it has it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know whether it originally came with it or not. Pink. Let me see it after warning. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. Sticker. Forgot about this. So the premium prize, first version only. All right. So there is an awesome, like, did you say it's gold? Yeah, gold sticker or shiru. Right. My, uh, it even has the same thing. It has the same, it's official for the remix, of course, but it has the same color registration, right? It's awesome. That sticker is awesome. All right, Puyo Puyo, you guys have outdone yourselves. Um, another hint, Puyo Puyo has an input test, has a controller input test, up to five players. So I keep an extra copy of Puyo Puyo in my Super Famicom, so when I need to test controllers to see if they work, Bam! Put in Puyo Puyo, any one of those Puyo Puyo games uh, for the Super Famicom. Super Puyo Puyo 2 Remix. And you can check your controllers, and you can also check if all five ports of a uh, multi-tap work as well. So, um, great thing to know if you uh, go through a lot of controllers, as I do. Oh, super. Alright, let's get in some Mahjong. Super Real Mahjong PV Paradise. There's a couple of these. I think Paradise is the only one I have boxed. All right, so let's play Mahjong with Anime Schoolgirls. Sounds good, right? So, box is a little torn up. All right, the pages don't stick together, and that's always good. So, there's some characters. Characters select, and you, get, you have all the characters. They all look like the typical, like, uh, high school, you know, high school girl. You got the shy one, the tomboy one, the, the one everybody wants to be with, I guess. And so... Mahjong, and the game is Mahjong, which I know nothing about, unfortunately. Alright, here we go. Super Robot Tyson EX. So many Gundam, Robot, Ultraman, whatever. Um, strategy, simulation games, or whatever. So, yeah, it even says, Shimulation Shitties, right? So, yeah, this is a, one of those simulation robot war simulation games. So, right there. Again, Bam Presto, right? This game. Warning registration card. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, apologies if the lighting's bad. So, I'm doing... I only have time to do one shot. No editing. Just uh, keeping it real. Next. Super Royal Blood. Okay, this is... This is Koei, right? Yep. So, Koei, they make historical war simulation games with, like, you know, the Napoleon and 
Genghis Khan. So here is this one, Super Royal Blood, which um, I believe is more of like England or whatever, right? So um, King Arthur kind of era. Right? So lots of... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was that? Ishumeria, Ishumeria, okay. So, there's the game. Tanned a little bit. All right. Comes with a map. Let's see, was I right? Was it. Or was it completely made up? Ayalando. Yep, alright. So, there you go. So, but it looks kind of, uh. Or island. Not just island, right? Island. Alright. But then maybe this one actually is maybe just not actually historical. So, that's right. So, one of the few that's actually... Maybe it's own actual fantasy game. So, I was thinking it was... Everything else is historical. I was thinking it was based off of that. Right? So. Yeah. Imagine... Imagination. It says, even on the front side, it says, Imagination game. Use your imagination. Um, so, now, same, Koei, this is an actual San, is it San Kokushi, so, like the Three Kingdoms or whatever, so, this is your war simulation game, Japanese war simulation game, so many of those, got the manual, we got another guide right here, you got some ninjas and stuff on there, oh, another well done registration, this is my well done registration video. They're all very well. Green, green card. Got so much stuff. Yeah, this box was thick. Right? So, yeah. So we got some other inserts. I got a poster here too. All right. So check this bad boy out. It's got map on the back. Right? Let's see map on the back, and then. Registration, or sorry, registration. Ma the poster is right here. Take a look at that. That is cool. That is very, very cool. So, so far, you are the winner, Sangokushi 2. Super Sangokushi 2. You have the most stuff in your box so far today. I gotta be careful to make sure I can get it all back in. That was a big one. All right, uh, Puyo Puyo, another Puyo Puyo, Super Nazo Puyo, okay, so like a mystery, and they had like a curry-like theme and food and stuff, so there's that, right there, so manual there, game, surprise, surprise, another well done, registration card, and good old pinky, pink, you see it after warning. Alright, where's that? Next some room, next. So, Pachi Slo Mahjong. So, this is like the, this is the fusion ha of uh, Super Famicom games. So, it not only has Pachinko, it has Mahjong. And it has it all combined. And Bunny Girls, and... Was this uh, Nichibutsu? Yeah, Nichibutsu usually makes these... Pachinko or whatever, Mahjong games, and they have outdone themselves with this. There you go. This one doesn't have any inserts or anything. Or I don't have any with my copy. Boo-hoo. But I think it'll be alright. And there it is. Two! Alright, so... Also upgraded the Bunny Girl, too. Awesome. So there you go. So this is, well, this is Super Nichibutsu Mahjong 2. Doesn't have Pachinko, but just Mahjong. Right? And uh, get ready for more. Spoiler alert. Right? Yeah. There we go. There's the game. Green. Greeny. Green. I see it after one Right. Zenkoku. So all Japan Mahjong or whatever. Right? And then here it is. Super Nichibutsu Mahjong 3. This is the Yoshimoto. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, this one is uh, Yoshimoto Agency. So all those famous comedians, the Japanese comedians, all those videos you see on YouTube about, you know, doing crazy stuff, setting themselves on fire, getting hit in the butt, or whatever. Um, 
there's an actual like group, there's an actual company that all those comedians belong to. One of the most famous one is uh, Yoshimoto. So all these guys on here are going to be famous um, comedians from like well the early to mid nineties. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know many of them. Um, I do like Japanese comedy, and I know a good bit. I like to think I know a good bit, but I don't know from the way back that far. I wasn't in Japan at the time, right? Nobunaga no Yabo. This is a series that is still going on now today. They've combined with uh, um, Yokai Watch and like uh, Pikachu and everything, right? So we have that. Okumon game. Sorry, I'm going to speed up real quick. I got to go. Um, this is like a Jinsei game, Game of Life board game right here. And finally, I'm going to finish up with Super Power League. There were four games. I think I only have two. Maybe I have one in my next video. Maybe four is in my next one. But one, two, three, four. Baseball game series with announcers and everything. So, uh, sorry. Time is up. I got to go. So, sorry about not finishing the boxes. So, thanks for watching. Like, like subscribe. Watch my other YouTube videos. At Japan Retro Games on Twitter. Started Instagram, Japanese Retro Game Center. Um, Facebook. And, of course, my eBay store, Ikemen Gamer, because I am very Ikemen. Right? Check it out. Thanks. See you again. Bye.